Hey guys, welcome back. It's Flea here with Pokemon Legends Arceus. I think the next plot point is to battle Cleavor, but I'm not sure that that I'm not sure if we'll get that to that today. Um, I was going to check out some of these. Quests. Um, so we need to do that real quick. That's somewhere in town here. We gave him one of the geodudes we've caught. to be honest. Have that one. Yes. Oh my, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock. And it seems to be deal weight too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young lady. This geodude's help. Oh, surely makes some scrumptious pickles. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Some of these talk... I think these people are in town? Yeah. We'll just take care of some of these things here and... You've accepted my quest to look into the into that Drifloon. Can't tell you what a big help that is. Let me fill you in. We've heard reports that Drifloon was playing with one of the village children over in Prelude Beach in the evenings. It seemed like an odd behavior for a Pokemon, so all of us in the security corps worried its true intentions were to harm the children, a child somewhere. Thankfully all the village children were safe and accounted for them to check on them, but there was one curious thing. None of them seemed to know anything about a Drifloon. Uh, but while so many people from the village have reported seeing the Pokemon, we can't simply pretend there isn't an issue here. Since this calls for some investigation, I thought the Survey Corps would be our best bet. Um, yeah, okay. I have no idea what time of day it is. Uh, we come back to that though, and okay, it's a little wonky. So until then, we can talk, worry about this Bidoof. Simgi. I, I hear you caught three different types of species in your, of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job that's perfect for a high achiever like you. See, I need help researching. Or gets those pesky Bidoof again. <laughs> Hello. I had to look away for one second. The little scoundrel walks right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I face Captain Zisu like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Tsumugi. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. But still, three Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I think I could handle on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea. I've heard that these particular pits get easily distracted. Other Bidoof are nearby ended up letting their guard down around here. So we bring a Bidoof. Seize that chance to catch the little dragon. Just fall out of the perfect plan. Okay, I guess we're looking for some Bidoof in town. Might as well do that while we wait for evening to come.
Oh, there's one. Chomp, chomp. Caught it. Great going, team. Two more somewhere in the village. Oh, there's one. for the third one. Um. These buildings. No. Hello. Oh no. Oh, okay. I accidentally did that. Um. I certainly hope you're getting. Putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Definitely. Ah, potions. Okay. It's pretty new. Now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Great. Thank you. Alrighty. Have fun. Okay, but where's the third to do? Hello? Let me check behind that. Between these buildings.
the heck? <laughs> Where is it? It's not like in somebody's home, is it? There's so many places that I... Oh! I... Now to give him the old heave ho. Hold on. It'd be a shame to just send those badoots back into the wild, no? The construction court could be a fight to use for him. Huh? You want to keep him? These naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction court. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How are they supposed to know our village is a strict no chain zone? That was good taste on their part to come all the way here to gnaw on our woodwork, too. We're gonna stay here, they'll have to help with our work. But little ones, meals taste better after a day's work, you know? <laughs> so we're going to here. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's that settled. Thanks again for your help. You got it. Um, I still am not entirely sure what time of day it is. So, we might as well get the, the drift flame done while we're still here. So, just wait until I think it's an evening. Chevy Core Lady, over here! Hey, um, I wanna go home now, but Drifloo won't let me go. <laughs> Can you help me, please? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Bye, Drifloo. Hey, now I can finally go home. But hey, um, Drifloo didn't mean to be bad. They always played together with me. It's real friendly, so I kept it a secret. Oh, my name's Taki. See you around, Surrey Core Lady. You got it, kid. Well, it sucks about Drifloon. Looking, you've been looking at that worrisome drift for us. Where have you found out? Well, kids be keeping it secret. See, so little Taki was trying to keep Drifloon from getting into trouble. All the same, he was in considerable danger. Without your help, goodness knows where Drifloon would have taken him by now. I'd be remiss if I didn't follow up on his, this troubling incident. Large Captain Zisu proposed extra security guards. 
out in Prelude Beach at once. For now, I'm thankful that the situation was well resolved. Without any harm, thank you truly for helping to keep everyone safe. Yep. Alrighty then. Um, let's do that. Actually, we probably should. Can we find a mushroom? Oop. Uh, some charms. And a Pokeshi doll. Actually, let's see if we can do any crafting while we're here. And we can put stuff into storage and head on out. Here's our craft pitch. Uh, let's just make a couple of those potions and oh, okay, so we need three wood to build the Pokeshi doll. chunk of this into storage because I don't usually probably won't use most of it. Um we can go. Um, let's go to Feelings Camp. Since it's easy, we'll be able to probably catch some ghosts. Oh, and there is a new quest here, too. You're from the Survey Corps. Wonderful, just the person I need. I'm to learn more about Crick Tot. Uh, how do they make the sounds of theirs? It's a musical instrument. In your debt, complete Crick Tot's page. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Um. Some more satchels we can pick up. Um. All right, well, I guess what we can do is just uh, what exactly is our quest right now? And get information. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Probably should have gone the heights camp. That's okay. Hello, birdies. Goodbye, birdies. Sheets. Hello, sir. Yeah. 
trash or whatnot. Let's see what's in the tree. It's burning. Um, I'd like to try to catch it without going. Geodude right this moment. But we'll deal with a Zubat. Oh. Okay. Uh, Ember? Oh yeah, I see how I can evolve. Let's just get to the camp for now. Just bring everybody along, it'll be fine. Actually, what is on my team? Uh, yeah, that's okay for now. Yeah, we'll just see. That's our way to Grand Tree again. Oh wait, actually, wait. Thinking about it, let's go ahead and involve Wimble. Yeah. follow it right away, so why not? A giant parasect down there? Yes. 
Jesus. Exactly what I ex expecting to catch today. But that's okay too. Okay. Wait. What we good is getting some cores. Sorry guys. That's a mushroom that I need for the one guy. Nope. Ah. I know I could just battle them, but... Heartwood, okay. Dust stocks, but probably not gonna go for that right now. Mushroom. Oh, there I need to go. And as the sun starts rising, we make it. Lane of the Pearl Clan, the Lord into Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleaver. Am I right, aren't I? 
course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleveland has become even more power awesomely powerful. Oh. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was almighty sinner's divine power, but whatever it was, it shook my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. I'll do anything. Oh, such earnest desire to meet mighty Cleavor. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. But told in un no uncertain terms by ear to that I am to let no one near Cleavor. I'll fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can. Face the wrath of my Gumi. I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can lose some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Hello, Gumi. Should help a little bit. Air cutter. And Starlight can evolve. Perfect. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver right now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a furry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering, a nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods served by what's up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe the prickly as he reads. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleavor is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleavor, Wider, and their cohort drew, drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon people alike, and so it's said. It's by their grace that our claim that any of us still lives in past history today. Rita, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleavor's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. He was indeed struck by that lightning. Could the bolts that have sent could have been sent by the false Sino that the Diamond Clan plows to? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hoped we could bring the situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people of Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. Very well. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offer. As for you, 
find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of vast history. Yay! Instant travel. Good to see you, Flea. How's your research into Cleveland going? Swimmingly, I expect? Definitely. Oh, is that so? That's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite foods would normally make Cleveland quite agreeable, is that it? We need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear girl. I guess I'm going. According to the information you were able to learn from Yerda and Lena of the Pearl Clan, this the normal course of events that Fancy Cleaver would be called by a nice serene of his two favorite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that their rumors or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only really calm Cleaver but draw him back from his this frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. Fool's Gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Mm, give me a moment, if you would. I need to some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. <gasps> Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food. You've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Flea? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Uh, yeah, sure, that makes sense. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokemon crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls and throw them to achieve the same common effect over and far. Brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what you to call those yummy projectiles, how about tea time balls? That's one in uh, in mind of a nice relaxing after two tea, does it not? Are you sure, Professor? They're your own inventions. Why not call them Labaton balls? Oh my, with that name, it's, it'd sound like I'm the one being launched out of our frenzy friend. <laughs> in any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? They said they would. Then you should hurry back to the Grand Tree Arena and tell the Pearl Clan about our brilliant plan. Uh huh. All right, sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, that's right. Um, do it, Starling. Fall. Fall. Uh-oh. My my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, yes. I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? Hello. Yeah. I 
spoke to Warrior about what's going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field and seeking a way to quell the Reaper's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Departmental clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift to, to this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weirder has found you worthy, you see, which means you'll have you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for her, mine? This is very important, so listen well. That's a Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on wide air so you can ride upon him. Said the Celestica flutes were a gift from Almighty Sinnoh itself. Now this one's yours. Yes! Great. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. heart and learned well the sound of your playing. And I have a mind plate now. I don't look too excited about that. Now, use the Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great wire deer. You've got a frenzy Pokemon to call a Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? Wire deer, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. <laughs> And it's with the plus sign. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, so we got Y to jump. And B to run. Don't run away. No. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I guess. Not really, but it is what it is. It's a regular bit, bro. So you say that galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Crevor's frenzy? Yeah, we're gonna throw some food at it. You mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. Mind you, my A if it means we might provide Cleaver with this offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Um, uh, Irene, the plan is you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them as promised. That's right, my apologies, dude. I've forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have a little bit of choice but to turn to the guest. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. They, the 
Galaxy's Galaxy team, people don't share customs or archives. Alrighty. Yeah, sure. Got a cynical. Ow. Do this to Cyndaquil. Understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better trust putting my trust in you now. Yes, let's see my Pokemon. Together, ball them up and try to close Frenzy by throwing them at him. Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms of sorts to calm our lord. Very well, if it'll help soothe Cleavor's Frenzy, let's make these bombs with our hearts, very hearts and souls. of falls. This should help please Cleaver if it can. Now then, ready yourself. I will summon my Cleaver Lord of the Wolves. Uh, let's not be hasty. Yeah, but I think I'd like at least Cyndaquil probably evolves. So we'll come back to this another day. Next time we take on Cleavor. Alright, guys, see you later.